have for you today is a power transfer unit from a 2006 Ford Escape 3.0 liter four wheel drive, of course. And what I want to do, since I'm pulling it apart to renew the seals in there, is to show you exactly how these work, the theory behind them, and of course the maintenance that goes along with them. Now the way these work is very simple also. They literally bolt up directly to the transmission. They're directly splined to the transmission. So whenever the vehicle is in motion, the gears inside of here are spinning. It's that simple. It goes out the output flange here to the rear drive shaft, and then it goes to the rear differential, which is where it decouples from the system until it needs all wheel drive operation. Now before I go ahead and open this up, I wanna go over PTU leaks real quick. Now these early models, they're really basic like this, um, lighter vehicles, they generally didn't have PTU leaks. Whereas the newer ones like the Taurus, the Edge, and the Explorer I was talking about, they had leaks left and right out of every orifice on here. It, 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 they were just a bad design to begin with. They were not cooled properly. Um, so these older ones, they generally don't leak, but if you do find a leak, especially in the escapes, what the actual culprit is, is this bolt right here. It's a banjo bolt, much like a brake banjo bolt for a brake caliper. And it allows, it bolts on the vent for the PTU. Anything that has gear set inside of it and fluid like this, like a rear differential, a manual transmission, automatic transmission, a transfer case, a power takeoff unit, the, the pressure inside of there builds as it heats up and it needs to be able to vent. It's only natural. What isn't natural is this little banjo bolt start loosening. So uh, what you gotta look for right away is just tightening this bolt up. You can get to it from under the vehicle, no sweat, and you'll find it's loose like this. Everything looks fine, it's held on fine, but it's just a little bit loose and it's coming out. Now these don't incorporate no copper washers either, so there's, there's nothing there to renew. You simply tighten it back up, just as a side note there. Okay, let's go ahead and take this cover off of here so I can show you what's inside of here in the operation. You'll be surprised how simple they are. All right, let's go ahead and pull the cover off and check it out inside. Now the right hand half shaft sticks directly through here, goes into the transmission and gets its power. In the meantime, this little plastic deflector here spins, it's supposed to spin, and it keeps dirt and debris away from this seal right here. And that makes it last that much longer. Now this seal right here's purpose is to keep the gear lube inside of here from coming out and leaking onto the ground. So if you have a gear lube leak out onto the ground, it's because of this seal right here. Whereas if you have a transmission fluid, a red color leak coming out of this area, it's because of another seal that's deep down inside there. I'll show you that here in a second. So we'll pull the cover off on here. And on the other side of the cover, there's bearing races to hold each one of the gears help stabilize them. Of course, there's the drain. That's the fill hole, actually. And then right here, that hole right there is the vent for the PTU. So it can vent the gases out and keep it separate from the fluid. Now, once the cover's off, you can see it's very simple inside of here. Bunch of gears, bunch of bearings, and of course, a bunch of seals. Now, there's an the input gear right here. Then there's an idler gear over here. And this one right here is considered a ring gear, just like a differential. And then here is your pinion gear. So I'll go ahead and pull these out and let you look at them. So pull these two out together. Let's look at the idler gear. You can see it's very, very simple. One piece design with some bearings on each side. And then the same thing over here. Spline sit idler and then your regular ring gear. It's like a mini ring gear and a differential that splines to your uh, pinion gear right here. Now this input gear right here does contain a seal inside of here. I'll show you that here in a second. But it also has another seal right here that keeps the gear lube inside of here from leaking out. And I'll show you that on the other side here. So if you have a leak in the back side here that's gear oil, you know it's coming from this seal on here. Now this input gear, which sits in this little pocket right here and sticks out the back side of the PTU, does have some bearings on it, of course, either side, but it also contains the splines right here that spline it to the transaxle itself, that direct connection like I was talking about earlier. This one also contains a seal on the inside here that keeps the transaxle fluid, the transmission fluid, 
from leaking into the PTU. And that's the failure in my case here. And that brings me to my next point on here, and that is maintenance. Now, luckily for this guy, I'm able to change these seals out and rebuild this one on the older ones. But on the newer PTUs, Ford does not allow that. There's nothing serviceable inside of here. So in order to prevent that, you wanna do regular oil changes on here, just like a differential, every 30,000 miles. Maybe even sooner on the newer, heavier vehicles before the cooling circuits that I was talking about earlier that fails so often, like the 11, 12 Explorers um, that just overheat all the time, burn the flute up in there, and of course start taking out bearings and seals inside of here. That's about it. I just want to go over the basic operation of the PTU, how they commonly fail, and of course the maintenance that needs to be done on these. Like I said, every 30,000 miles or so, you want to change the gear oil out on here so that it's all new and fresh inside of here so it doesn't fail on you, especially on those newer vehicles that are heavier without the cooling circuits. Ford calls these filled for life, but believe me, just like the transmissions, they're not.